Welcome back. All right. This week we celebrate love and here with advice on keeping love alive, please welcome back Dr. Gail Saltz. Dr. Gail is one of the loves of my life. Oh, yes, yes, we love she you. She really is. So uh, what do you say to couples that uh, need to work on keeping the spark or, or, or losing it is the spark? I think it's helpful to know, first of all, why you need to keep the spark. And that is the bad news, which is a year after marriage, about couples are satisfied, about 86% of them. Mm -hmm. After seven years of marriage, only 50%. Wow. And about half of couples will eventually... 10% separate and 7% remain chronically unhappy. So two thirds of couples are not doing so well. Here's the good news. Love, like all emotions, is a neurochemical experience in the brain. And there's been a lot of research to show how you can pump up love, which is really what you wanna do in keeping long-term satisfaction. You need to work on skills that basically what I like to say is Bring in the tingles. Bring ah. in the tingles, I love that. And since it is the season of love, Dr. Gill has filled this fishbowl <laughs> with hearts that hold the key to keeping love alive. I'm gonna go first, go if that's okay. Absolutely. Right? Yep. This is so pretty, by the way. Change your approach. That's right. So 70% of couples spend time arguing about what they don't like about their partner and trying to change their partner. But let's be real. You picked each other, right? You picked each other from yeah. the start. Right, right. There was a lot of good stuff, but you're focused on the bad stuff. And we can't really change each other that much. Mm -hmm. You can change yourself, but yeah. you can't change your partner that much. Down. I put the seat down now after 27 years. You changed. Yeah, I you changed. changed. I put it down. Can I go? But you have to inject the good stuff, and yes. that's what we're about okay. now. Here we go. Okay. Uh, focus on excitement. That's a yeah. biggie. I like so that. excitement causes arousal in the body. And whoever you're with when you're excited, that arousal gets attached to them. That's why like on The Bachelor and Bachelorette, they, they dangle you from a cliff, they send you up in a hot air balloon because it makes you excited about the other person. I practice what I preach. We have a picture, actually, of a recent trip that I took with my spouse. It's of, up there. Oh, yeah. there it is. Okay, there it is. Of, yeah. of 35 years because we do exciting things sometimes. So pleasant is fine, but you really want to go for exciting. You guys, this, just this, this weekend, weekend, you're very exciting yeah. this weekend. Yeah. And it yeah. makes you aroused about each other. Agreed. Yes, that is very true. Okay, I'm gonna pick again. Uh, work at it. Work at it. That's right. So look, these things we're, gonna talk, we're talking about today, they don't just happen. Love habituates. You, over time, the thing that excited you in the beginning, gets boring. Mm -hmm. So really, you have to inject these things to create that feeling as you go. And it does take work. Yes. All right, when we come back, we've got more tips with Dr. Gail for keeping love alive. <laughs> We're back with Dr. Gail Salt. She's giving us some great uh, advice on how to keep the spark alive in our relationships. Get right, back the tingles. Yeah, the tingles. <laughs> All the feels. The element of surprise. That's right, and yeah. you were just alluding to that yeah. earlier. So, as I, as I said, you know, you can, you can get bored, right? But surprise also creates arousal, right? And so you want to inject things that are unexpected. Mm -hmm. They help create that tingly feeling between you. So what you, you, you an experience in Iceland where you were like, we were going to do this, but uh, let's just pivot and we do this other thing. But it could be something small, like you just walk in and recite a poem. You just, you just uh, put a sheet out in the living room and like now dinner's gonna be a picnic. Like what's something yeah, it unexpected, can be very simple. simple, but unexpected, that creates those tingles. If you recited a poem to me, <laughs> I would actually die of a heart if attack. If I did the laundry. <laughs> tonight, honey, tonight, honey, I'm gonna do the laundry. If he you did would the laundry, I would drop dead. <laughs> very surprising. Uh, do something novel. That's right, so newness stokes the neurotransmitter dopamine. And dopamine is reward and bonding. Mm -hmm. So when you do something new together, again, it creates that feeling of bonding with your partner. Anything new. Yeah, it's really true. We did a lot of new things and we are Makes you feel closer. Yes. Yes. Do something difficult together. Okay, you know how when you do something hard, just even yourself, you feel mastery. You feel like, mm -hmm. man, I got it going on. Like yeah. I'm, when you do it as a team, you feel that way about yourselves as a couple. So like 
play another couple in Trivial Pursuit or, or tennis. Tennis together as a Remember couple. We did that. Yes, or, we lost. lost. We lost. We, it was like, great. we were in it together. But it was great. Refinish a piece of furniture and go. Look at what we raise three did. kids. Raise three yeah. kids. Yeah. Look what we Thank did. you, Dr. Gale. Go to KellyMark.com for all of this great advice and more. Next, Ryan is back, and we're going to open up that love inbox. Stick around.